We're not talking about my skin, we're talking about yours. Charlie Swinburne is hard of hearing, so going to the pictures can be frustrating. Cinemas do show films with subtitles, but they're often only available midweek and sometimes don't work. It's worth remembering that one in six people have some level of deafness, and currently that audience isn't being served well by the cinemas. And if you did serve them well, you could well be making more money out of them, so there's good reasons for improving the service. Problems with your hearing? How about this? Son, I think it's time you learn to fight dragons. I've decided I don't want to... This is an ad running in cinemas promoting subtitling. The cinema industry accepts it has to do more, but says there are problems. The broad range of the general audience do not like going to subtitled films. But it also needs to be said, of course, that the, the needs and, and the wants of disabled or hearing impaired customers are as broad and varied as the needs and wants of the general audience. Yeah, so like they want to go on a Friday night. night. They, they do want to go on a Friday night, it, it's true, but unfortunately you know, the economics of the industry mean that it's too big a financial hit on the industry to be able to provide that at this moment. So, can technology come to the rescue? We took Charlie to Sony headquarters in Basingstoke. So here are the glasses. These are not ordinary glasses, their yeah, the, subtitle uh, glasses. glasses and effectively what we do is that we uh, put the closed captions or the subtitles onto the screen in the glasses so it's superimposed on the cinema screen so it looks like um, the, the actual subtitles are on the cinema screen. Time for a test. It was rather difficult for our camera to pick up the full effect but you can just about see the text in green. Here's Charlie's verdict. The good thing about them is you're not refocusing, it doesn't feel like the words are really near and the screen's far away, it feels like they're together. So it just feels very, very seamless and it was a great experience. Yeah, and you think this is a potential solution? I think it's, a, it's got a massive opportunity to improve deaf people's lives. I think there's you know, great hope that this would really give us a new sort of cinema going future. The glasses should become available in cinemas next year. Other applications are also being considered, like simultaneous transcriptions of conversations so deaf people could read what someone is saying to them. Texts, emails, map directions. The possibilities are potentially limitless. Graeme Satchel, BBC News.